And hello, hello. Welcome and welcome in. This is Magi. We're playing more Dyson Fall today, which is pretty cool. I've been enjoying it a lot. I'm looking forward to future content updates, by the way. But we still have plenty to go. This guy's icon is literally just money. Anyways, um, we're playing the Sculptor today. He's got 23 health, needs 5 or more on a slot. And it's got the Magnus Opum ability. Converts all exact slots to a total slot of the same value, except gold dice set. Ooh. Exact slots to total slots. Interesting. Um, what do we do? In shop stage, get rare items instead of common. Let's maybe do the creature hat, start the game with three additional gold coins. And start the game with a common companion. Or actually, Divine Branch, a random rare companion, sounds pretty darn great. Just go for some value immediately. Uh, that's going to be our goal for now. I'm going to roll the dice. We've got the Wanderer who does literally nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. Love to see it. <laughs> but he's going to tank some hits, which is good for us, I guess. I'm still convinced that there's a world where you can make him work. And you can make him work really good. Specifically with items such as the one that... Um, Activates whenever you um, use an ability and heals your hero and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, right, I need to explain the game. So, if you haven't seen the game yet, there's a playlist with all my runs in there. The very first video goes more in depth about everything as we explore the game together because at that point in time I was playing the demo and I didn't know anything about the game. That said, this is a stage. Um, but there's 30 stages in total. There's many stage li stages like this one, but this one is the one that we just defeated. As you can see, we get silver coins when we defeat enemies. 10 silver coins turn into a gold coin. If we complete this dice set over here, we get another gold coin once per stage. But progress persists throughout stages too. Our hero is the Sculptor. He's got a health slot. We can drop a red die over here to heal him. We also have an ability if we fill out this uh, ability slot we can use that ability and that's cool you know it does an effect in this case it will convert exact slots to total slots which is pretty nice we're gonna end our turn here real quick every turn we roll the dice when we want to defeat an enemy we drag a dice off the value needed to uh those specific slots um for now i'm gonna go over here and just do this right now, which is gonna turn the five slot into like the exact five slots, which requires a dice with the exact uh, requirement of, f you know, the exact phase of five. It will turn that into a total slot. So the total slot means we can place a three and a two, for instance, in there, you know, and that'd be perfectly fine. Enemies have a damage indicator over here we can if we find orange dice we can drag them in there to reduce that damage they deal to us by a certain amount over here we also have a companion who's got an ability cool stuff I'm gonna roll the dice here uh get a four i want to complete my dice my gold dice set here to get an extra gold coin if possible uh, we're just going to use this over here to our advantage to heal up. And over here we have a dice bag where we can also save some for the next stages and stuff like that, you know? It's pretty cool. The Wanderer's ability literally does nothing. Irresistible Force Paradox is the name of that one's ability. It literally does nothing. But they're rare. We're just going to defeat the enemy and around. If we roll too many times, the dungeon master appears, who's a bit rough to deal with. And we'll just place this over here, this over there, and the turn. Since all of these are exact, like, total slots already, we don't need to use our ability. Uh, we could have used that already. Um, 
Yeah, we should have just used that already. That was my bad. We'll take some more damage here. This over here is a blue dice. We can place it on a dice. On a slot for an ability and we'll get... Um, the ability is going to be up no matter what value is necessary for it. We're going to use our ability right here to turn that one into an, a total slot. Going to place this over here. That right there. With a six. Um, a four and a one. And Varand will take one damage from the imp. There's the two, finally. And Varand. There's a five. And a two. Lovely. The sculptor seems pretty strong already. So. Peasant is going to gain silver coins. The same as the dice value. It gives three if complete without a dice. Once per stage. Uh, the seducer, once per stage, will... Uh, choose an enemy dice and decrease their attack by five. And the beggar is going to turn five silver coins into a gold coin. I'll take that. I'm a fan of that. And over here we have a shop stage. All the gold coins can be used to buy items here. Every four rolls, companion skill becomes available. Yes. When purchased, get a random item. And when your hero's health is below 10, get one extra dice roll. We're gonna just roll here once more to get a different item. Uh, when your companion takes damage, heal your hero by three. Increase all total slots by three rest of the game. Stage and gain five silver coins. It's pretty nice. Um, I'll take that, I think. Whenever you roll three of the same dice, fold a random enemy. It's unique. And I'll take the heart-shaped box as well. Done. Roll the dice. Um, right away, what I'll do is... I'll make use of that ability to get rid of this one... ...slots. And then what we can do is... Like, these are also exact slots now, so that's pretty nice. Uh, pretty nifty. I do say so myself. We're going to take six damage total here, but we can heal our companion a bit. And what do we do? Get rid of this Venabus bat for now. Roll the dice. I know this is a bit risky. Roll the dice. The ability is now available. I'm just gonna use this here, here, and... Does it do sub... No, it doesn't work with four. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could cheat it out. Five, three, one... One and for run. We'll take another four damage here. Roll the dice yet again. I'm gonna go for a five and a two here. Place for one and for round. We got a lot of silver coins through that because that was a rough enemy. Um, right away, what I'd love to do is just place them in here. This one's abilities seem to be random. Uh, what we can do is place for five here, place for four here. Use the ability to turn that into another gold coin. Uh, we're going to heal our beggar. Roll the dice. We get a six here. And we've got a five there, but I'd like to, since the vulture only does one damage each attack, you know, that's two healing for us if they attack the beggar. And there's a one and a four. We just need a six here. There's a five. An orange five. Which is really useful. Because it... Um, essentially reduces an enemy's damage by five. Alright. We get coins. I don't know why that one... Folded. 
Oh, yeah, when you roll three of the same dice. Gotcha. I just realized. I'm gonna place this over here and bang for three. You got five coins. Um, the hammer's nice. But I think I'll opt for the ghost coin. In shops, we'll gain a ghost gold coin, basically. It's temporary, you know, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, Treant, Void Mask, and the Snake. I'm gonna place the three over here. Which will deal its damage to the companion. Fantastic. So, now we don't have to worry about any exact slots. Um... I'm gonna place the two and the three here. Keep the orange four right there. Roll, we got a six here. I'll take the two and the one and just place them in there. Five, four. Just defeat the mask, roll the dice. Use that to get a gold coin. Gonna three, four, one right there. End the round with a lot of silver coins. And we're gonna roll the dice again. We've got the homunculus here, the salamander, and the tree end. Uh, this slot's being increased is rough for us. But I think it's doable. Roll the dice. Got a five here. Three, one, and one. And the round. Hope they don't hit the beggar twice. They don't. Fantastic. Um, a three and a two. And I'll just save the three for now. We don't have. We shouldn't worry about that too much. I'll use our ability immediately. Um, four and a three. And a five. I think that's the best value we can get out of that for now. A flute. When a skill is used, get a gold coin with a 10% chance. See, that's amazing. Had we had the... If we had the... Um, beggar. Of a wanderer. I'll take the gas lantern, it was just plus one dice roll for the first roll. The liar is also nice. Every stage that sounds a random enemy. When a skill is used, get a gold coin. I'll take that. And leave it at that. Roll the dice. There's a six, a one, and a six here. Roll the dice. The five. A four. Beggar's dead. It sucks, but can't be helped, really. And there's a two. And another two. End the round. Foul Duchess. Every turn end resets own dice slots. Is foul indeed. We'll take five damage here. Roll the dice. Um, I'll use the ability here. Yeah, they'll get reset every single time. Oh, that's super annoying. So, we'll need to save a 1, a 6, and I'll take a 3, perhaps. I'll take another 5 damage here, roll the dice. We can use this to mm, not really do anything. So, one and a six. Uh, I'll take the six here with me and the round. Let's see, that's eight. No, it's not going to be useful. We're going to prime our ability, though. 
Roll the dice. We get some healing. Oh, that's not good though. Six, six, five. Like, all we can do is hope that somehow I've made miscalculations, but no, the one that we needed, I used it on my skill, which is incredibly useless. I don't know why I did that. That was my bad. I really misplayed right there. I think we'll take the gold coins and the rare companion, though, again. I feel like that worked fine, and we've got the seer. Next stage, complete a random enemy dice slot. Nice. Uh, we need an odd slot for that. I'll take the two here. Fantastic. They'll deal the damage to a sculptor. That one's completed immediately, which is phenomenal for us. Uh, do we want to take that damage? Think so. Three and a two. We'll take the six here. We'll use that ability every single time to just get rid of one enemy here. At least one slot. One and a one here. Take two damage. We're going to heal our companion. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to end the turn here. We didn't use our ability here, sadly, but it's fine. Roll the dice. We can heal ourselves a bunch. End the round. Could have also just placed the five, to be fair. Yeah, would have been better. Um, I'll do this. Get rid of a boar. We'll take f uh, damage. We'll take two more damage twice here. Um, what we can do is we can place this here. We can place that right there. End the round. Four and a six and uh, another six here. And the round. We'll keep the progress towards our ability. There's the seer again, the advisor and the seducer. We can also just heal our companion five, which would end up with the same result. Um, I think I'll take the advisor though. Reroll a random unplaced dice. Seems pretty nice. Midas touch is pretty nice. Pretty lofty. Every stage start, heal your companion by f uh, by three. Is great. And Midas touch right there as well. Magician's license is nice. When you, uh, whenever you roll a blue dice, gain two silver coins. It's cool, but we don't need it as much as we need like the healing on our advisor. And yeah, we didn't get a six there. We didn't get a four either. Um, what I'll do is. I'll get rid of a salamander. Wow, <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, we're taking too much damage here. I'm gonna take another two damage here if we're not careful. Not what we needed at all, but we can use our ability here. Take two damage. Roll the dice. Um, I'll do this. Roll the dice. We get a two. Fantastic. Not necessary. I'm going to use this here. We'll take damage. Oof. Um, we're dead here, aren't we? Get rid of you. All I can hope for is that it doesn't attack us. It did attack us. It hurt me. Sculptor, again. Same loadout. I wish it would save the last loadout used. What is this? No, that's fine. Start on normal difficulty. Sculptor, let's sculpt. Get, let's get sculpt him. Um... This is nice to have at the beginning, because we get an extra trinket when we beat the boss. Roll the dice. There's a five. And... I'll do this for now. 
in the round. There's a two and a three here. I'll take them. We need three of the same here. So I'm hoping to get... Um, let's do this. We'll take two damage to the face. I'll swap these out. Roll the dice. I'll do this to reduce the damage to one. Six, six, six. There's a five. This is only once during a stage, so we can't activate that again. I hope that that works even when we're no longer when we no longer have them because the ability is practically useless to us now. Um, there's a six here as well. We'll take five. Six, no, we take six damage here. There's the one that I wanted. And the round. Mm, we'll take four instead of six. Just take care of those enemies. Shopkeeper. Gain silicon and equal as the value. Let's go for Sedusa. It's got the most health. When you roll two different colored dice in a single roll, gain two silver coins. Uh, dice dropped on total slots are considered plus one value and heal your hero two, uh, by 10. I'll take this and that. I might as well take that and leave it at that. So now we can roll the dice. Is it plus two value? Plus one value. So we can do this and that. We'll take three damage. We're going to roll the dice. We're going to heal. And place the exact slots needed over here. Could have also just done it. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How would they know? Um, four, a five, and just take care of that. And the rent. Oh. Roll the dice. We're going to use this six over here. This one right there. Just to, so that we only take one damage. And also take care of the werewolf so we don't take that two damage. Take three damage of a seducer's face. No, not the face. Ability decreases attack. Heal your hero by three at the stage start. When an enemy attacks your hero, gain a silver coin. I'll go with the strawberry here. Healing every stage start by three is amazing. Gorgon. Prioritize attacking the companion. I'll do this, and that, and this. And we're around. This is once during a stage. Take one damage. We'll use six, six, and a two. Five. And the rent. Right, we've got the hammer. I forgot. Uh, right away, what I'll do is I'll place this here just to mitigate some damage. And get our ability here so that we didn't need a total two for that. Roll the dice. That's not great. At all. Okay, that was lucky. Once fall, it deals the damage of a hero. I'm gonna heal our companion here. Defeat that. Take two damage to the sculptor's face. Battle axe. When a skill is used, heal your companion by one. Every three rolls complete a random dice slot for your hero skill. 
And after using companion skill, gain two silver coins. We're going to take the battle axe because it's useful. And it might be nice with the companion. The the wanderer would it would be amazing on the wanderer, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll take three here. Um, we'll take six actually. Prioritize it attacking the companion. So I hope the bat doesn't hit us. It did not. Fantastic. Um. So this one's gonna attack the companion for sure. If I use this. And that. We don't survive. It's unlucky. Like, the Sedusa that just died there. Which is unfortunate. It can't be helped, really. In these cases, um, less than two, like two or less, is annoying to deal with, to say the least. We're going to keep these in case we do need exact slots. Um, we get healed a bit. There's a one. There's a two. There's another. The true beggar. Folds itself in fourth turn. Or on the first, I guess. We just were well prepared. Unfold companion with 10 health, once unique. Um, decrease all total slots by two. Complete a random slot for the, of the first attack and a stage. I'm going to take the garlic. Because it synergizes with our ability. We'll get a companion selection stage after this. Those were folded. Why were those folded? Oh, because the garlic reduces by two and those were salamanders. I see. I see how it is. I grasp what you're putting down. Gonna heal by six. We'll take three damage. We'll roll the dice. We're gonna take this and that and just place this one over here, I guess. There's a one and a two and a five. Roll the dice. There's a six here and a six there. And we're gonna save this one. I was just hoping for a six so that we don't use multiple. Um, what does this one do? Silence all enemies. This guy's once a stage. Spy seems nice. Um, when a skill is used, heal your companion one. I'll take the Wanderer. No, not gonna lie. I feel like this might work just fine. A diverse ring. When purchased, fold your companion and gain three gold coins. I don't want to go for that. Once companion is folded, gain three gold. Um, I'm gonna reroll here. None of these are amazing. And increase the chance of rolling red dice by 5%. Sounds amazing. I'll go for it. Onwards. Roll the dice. Uh, right away, I'm going to use this over here. Which I think didn't do much. Which is odd. Um... I'll reduce this one's attack by five. I'll go with a six here and a three. Roll the dice. We could have just get gotten rid of the uh, one, but it's fine, I think. Um, five. No one gets healed. Fantastic. Could have also just done it here, but I, it's whatever. Um, we'll do this. Keep it free. We need three even rolls. We got one. We got two. Got a one that we'll keep around. And we'll also heal our Wanderer some more. And then there's a two. Lovely. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Fantastic. Wanderer can just heal itself when needed. That one got defeated. Phenomenal. Um, 
I need a five. Does this work? No, it's not. Turtle slot. Um, place for three here. We'll take for four here. Place that right there. Get for four. Get a bunch of silver coins there. Roll the dice. There's a two. I'll take it here, actually. And there's a six. There's a five here. We need a one. One. And we'll take the three here. <laughs> Look, yeah, that's hilarious. Every stage end for every five gold, gain one gold coin. Rich get richer, I guess. When enemy attacks your hero, 10% chance instantly fold. Non-boss and unique. Uh, I'll, do, I'll get that. Okay, we need two of the same over here. Uh, what we can do is, Godling is annoying, uh, once we're old, three colored dice, once, you know, folded. Uh, we'll go for a three and a three here. Um, gonna do the five here. Six. Six. Four. Counts as plus one, you know. They folded themselves. Phenomenal. Do this. A five. And we'll keep a three round. In the gold dice set. There's a two. A one. A four. Place this here. We'll take four damage. Which we're fine with, I think. Three. And a four. End the round. Roll the dice. literally doesn't do much for us at all. There's a six. There's a five. And... I'm just gonna use these here. You can get the four. Amazing. We got a bunch. We got extra gold coins right there. Angel is going to heal us by five if we finish that. Um, going to get rid of a stalker right away. And the rand. There's a six. I'll use it immediately to get rid of that. Uh, there's a that and that and this and we mitigate a lot of damage through this now take another three damage <laughs> it's funny we could also just use it on the slot but it's funnier this way um what we can do is we can place one free here i'll take that i'll place this over here end the round roll the dice got a one here i'll place the twos because we've got plenty of those and the round here, roll the dice. We're gonna place the two and the three. There's a five. And I'm gonna roll the dice again. There's a four, two, one, four. I'm gonna heal ourselves here. Roll the dice and there's a six. Fantastic. We're gonna heal here. I'm going to keep the colored ones. Use that stupid flute again. Battle axe. When a skill is used, heal your companion by two. 
nice synergy, I guess. Just get more healing on the Wanderer whenever we use a skill. When purchase heal your hero and companion by 10. Every stage has signs all enemies. We can't afford that, sadly. This over here we get no more value out of because there's only one more companion and item stage. I'll take um, the health berry tart. Just leave it at that. Which got richer, we get one more gold coin, right? I'm gonna keep our Wanderer, actually. That will also yield him five. Roll the dice. Doubles its attack on turn end. Uh, prioritize attacking our hero for 10 damage. Gee. Are you serious? I'll take a free here. Do this. In the round. Um, I'll take a six, four, five, two, five, um, one. End the round. Roll the dice. Didn't get any gold dice at progress, sadly, but it's fine. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually activate our sculptor ability here so that we don't have to deal with all of these hand shenanigans. Um, there's the Chimera. Which will deal a lot of damage and prioritize attacking our heroes. So we're just going to place the ones over here. Uh, obviously, this one is equally bad. Um, it's a Vanagi. I see. Not a Yanagi. And we're going to place a four here. And make that one fault. Like those slots. Complete them. Um... We'll place both of these here. Fantastic. We'll keep a two and a four around, I guess. I'll take the one here. I'll take the two here. I'll take the three here. I'll take the three here. I'll take the six and the four. I just need a five now. Fantastic. There's a five. Sadly, no roller. No um, odd dice roll here. I'm going to prime our ability. I'm going to use this ability and that one and that one. End the round. Item selection stage. Every stage end of charge, discard your hero skill and gain one gold coin. It's so useless. Once you compile earning is folded, unfold companion with 10 health. I'll go with that. I like that. A lot, actually. Uh, it doesn't matter at all. We're gonna roll here, since the next stage is the boss stage. Loosen dagger after you complete a slot. Dice drop on total slots are considered plus one value. Re sets after turn. And when purchase heal your hero for a amount of silver coins, you drop last stage. I'll go for that. We don't need no gold for this is the final stage. Who's it going to be? It's the Illusionist. The Illusionist, it, one of these is real and the one that isn't, um, you know, if one slot gets completed, they'll fold. Okay. Go six, six, and... Four? That was an illusion. Lovely. Um, there we go. Just work our way through these. We used our ability earlier because we have literally no use for the ability in this specific fight. And it will just heal our companion. There we go. That one was not real. Okay, we just need a two for this one. And that one is actually real. In which case, we'll place dice onto this one so that it doesn't damage us anymore. And then four, five, three, and three. We win here. 
Okay, with ease, beat a boss with a sculptor. Witch broom, drop a witch broom. And broken trident, drop the one. We unlocked the craftsman, which, Eureka, gain a random item. These are these were our items. These are our trinkets. Uh, witch broom, when you select a companion, get five gold coins instead of one roll. Plus one roll. Oh, that's... I don't like that. It's it's great as an investment, I guess, but also not really. It's like a game with a random common item. Seems good. And yeah, we unlocked the craftsman who is this guy over here. Uh, once during a stage, we can gain a random item through that, which is nice. And yeah, next time we're going to try out the wizard who's going to choose an enemy and make the attack one. Which is just once during a stage. They've got 12 health, which is incredible. Is that the lowest we've had so far? Yes, that's the lowest health at the start we've had. But his ability can be used with any dice. Just once on stage, though. Which is, you know. That said, I had a fantastic time today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as well. Thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to see more of a specific character in the series. Or if you'd like to see more... Or me trying to go for a specific build if I can make it work, you know, let me know. And also, if you had any other feedback, advice, etc., suggestions, that would be lovely. Check out the links in the description. There's the link to the Steam page for this game. Go check it out. It's amazing. And also, my socials, the Discord server. Join the Discord. Stop by on my stream, you know. Do whatever you want to do. I won't force you. I'm just, you know, hey. It's there. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you around until next time. Bye bye.